Wait. What you know about happiness, baby? Welcome back to episode four of the Espresso Chateau. It's going to be a doozy. It is. I think if you just watched episode three, this is going to be a very easy catch up. Absolutely. Because we are now going to talk about our trips and the mayhem that usually goes on. Yeah, someone had asked in the Discord if we wanted to talk about any of our past kind of like adventures and we thought it was a good one. I even wore my Mickey Mouse top. I love it because there's a little angry version of him on it and it just, it speaks to me. Look at it. <laughs> His arms, he's like, hey. <laughs> me when I'm mad. Literally. Um, what's... Our very first trip we went on as a family. I don't know if you went on trips before I was born. No. But we didn't. Like, if anything, it would have been maybe Niagara Falls. Oh, okay. Which is such, like, a, a trip for a lot of people. Like, there's people that haven't even been to Niagara, but it's like, we used to go every we year. We used to go every year for your birthday. Little Miss Thang. And then there was that one year you were like, I want to go to Toronto. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. That was fun, though. Yeah, it was and good. We got lost a couple times, but we got to go in order. Because the very first trip we went on, we talked about it briefly, I think, in episode two. We went to Alberta. Oh, yeah. yeah. For your third birthday. Yeah. And to see our, our cousins and stuff that live out there. The perks of having well, a summer birthday, first of all. Because we're all off school. Okay. It's not my fault that I have a good birthday. So that was the year my father, our father, sorry, decided it was a good idea to drive. You did that last time, too. I know. To drive <laughs> with three kids to Alberta. And we're in Ontario, so it's quite a drive. I think when you take the Canadian way, it's 24 hours. Mm-hmm. When you, you take go the, up and over all When the you take the state way, it's 18, I think. 16, 18, depends on how fast you're going. Yeah. So I remember dad had set us up. You don't remember this much, no. but he set up our, we had a, a grand caravan and it was red. And what he did was he took the bucket seats out and he had one of those old 90s, you know, like the plastic two-step stools. Mm-hmm. Had a big one and then the small one, just plastic. Couldn't fold it up. It was just really inconvenient and big. He put that where the bucket seats were, put in a box TV. I still don't know where he would have hooked it up to to have the power, Blue but um, he doesn't even know what yeah, he did. <laughs> like he doesn't. So had a big box TV, you know, the ones with the big backs. Kids these days will never understand a big old TV. And a VCR player on the little step. So it was big TV on the big step, VCR in our van, which was crazy to me. Yeah. And I remember we, I don't know why we thought bringing like six movies was going to do us. I mean, it did, but at the same time, it was like, I think we watched Finding Nemo. (laughs) And movies at the time were strictly an hour and a half, hour 20 minutes. Like they didn't make two. Like we watched Monsters, Inc. Was it Monsters, Inc. at that time, actually? Maybe. I know for a fact Finding Nemo was there. <laughs> the Little Mermaid was there. <laughs> had a thing for underwater movies. You had a really big thing for underwater films. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we watched that. Basically, the whole trip was just Disney movies. And I remember stopping at this gas station specifically. And I was so excited for the hot dog. It was a gas station hot dog, but in the middle of nowhere. So you knew it was going to be good. Yeah. And there's cheese right in the middle of it. To this day, it still shocks me and traumatizes me a little bit because I wasn't expecting it. I was like, what's in this? How do you get cheese in a hot dog? I'm assuming injection. Yeah, but like... <laughs> it blew my mind. That is crazy. I don't remember much from the trip except obviously horseback riding. We went to the Corn Tabor Festival. True. Mm-hmm. We did have a lot of fun when we actually finally got to Alberta. Yeah. Took turns sleeping in the bunk bed. We went to our aunt's house. I went in the hot tub with a diaper on and it exploded. <laughs> not from, from poop, egg. but no, no. from the water. Yeah, I was going to say not from any bodily function, no. Like, because diapers are made to absorb, it wasn't a swimming diaper. No. It was just a regular one, so it, like, it absorbed not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> like, who put me in a hot tub with a diaper on, first of all? And then that's pretty much the only things I really remember about that trip. I remember almost getting squished by that horse on that trip. Her name was Rain. Everything was fine. We were following the trails, doing things that horses do. And then we got to that rocky little lake area. And I remember that that was the moment she decided she wanted a dust bath or had a scratch. And she started to get down and I was just like, what? But because of my insane reaction time, 
I managed to jump off, and then I went to, like, mommy or her horse. I was just so scared of getting kicked by a horse, getting something by a horse, rolled over. It was pretty spooky, so I still can't believe I jumped. Like, whose thought at that age is to, I better jump off and, like, you know? Then we must crazy. have drove home, too. Yeah, we did. But it, that's a blur. Yeah, I don't remember any of it. Yeah. I was young, so beats me. That was a fun trip, and I don't think we've been back since. I have. <laughs> oh, true, true. For the Twice. weddings. For the weddings. Just one. Oh. I just went out with mom one time. We went to a hockey game to see the Calgary Flames. Oh, nice. Yeah. Enjoyed some hot yoga. Did you? Yeah. Mom did hot yoga? No. Oh. Yeah. And Heather went. And then, yeah, so that was our very first trip then as a family. And then it would have been Disney. Disney. And Disney was wild because we went with two other families that consisted of our cousins. So there's 14 of us in total. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep 14 people on this trip. Yeah, no. We took up the planes. We took up everything. Yeah, I we swear. Were we were the I remember worst. the plane. We were like all moving around. I was oh, like, yeah. planes are so fun. Like it's just... Y'all get to move up, and we're playing games, and we're eating snacks, and no, it was just because of the way we traveled. Now, looking back, the people around us were probably like, they're going to have a great time, or they're very annoying. And we were definitely the fun group, I feel like, because, you know, we all, like, yeah, we're usually grouped together and stuff, but um, what a trip. We went to all parks that year for the Core very first time. memory, you get off the plane. Dad goes over to his old work, gets a couple rental cars for the team. Oh, for the squad. All right, here's your walkie-talkie. Here's your walkie-talkie. <laughs> we got to stay in close proximity so our walkie-talkies you work in the three cars. <laughs> but it's kind of crazy because at that time, like, cell phones were a thing. I guess texting wasn't as big, though. Yeah. They could have now just called. Apple watches have walkie-talkies. Yeah. But, like, it's so funny, yeah, because, yeah, core memory was, like, everybody had a, like, a like a work site walkie talkie like this thing was not breaking if you dropped it no and you know what i think walkie talkies are a very efficient way of communication i yeah i think they should still be as popular as they were yeah like their range is probably a lot bigger now i mean cell phones (laughs) have the best range but like still like over yeah you have to say over or it doesn't go through that was the ride to the hotel, our first hotel. Oh, and asking, Sweet. like, oh, can I go in their car? And, like, oh, yeah, well, you can come with us. That was very fun. I remember that hotel was sweet, too. It had, like, a big waterfall in the pool. Yep. I would go back there. Yeah. I wonder it if it's so still fun. as nice. Or, like, we all the kids were shoved into one room. The yep. oldest ones had to babysit. I was four. I got lost on that trip. We're getting there. <laughs> That was in the main park, right? Yep. yep. And, and that was the first day. Well, not the first day, but the second day we were there. It was great. Because the first day was just driving and chill. To be fair, it wasn't my fault. Tell me about your experience. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell us about it, Jenny. Well, listen. It was not my fault. Like, I don't really think there's to blame on anyone. Well... <laughs> Dad. So basically it was like right literally any of the six adults that we Yeah, did. any of the six adults that I literally said anything to. Anyway, um there's like a part in the park where this was like before all of their expansions. So there was an area where it was like Buzz Lightyear and Woody would like hang out and then it went into like the Christmas village area. It was like a courtyard though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, kind of. And then it was like you would go into like a Christmassy area. Mhm. So I remember it like it was yesterday. Everybody was kind of just gathered, just talking about what they were going to do, what the plan was. And obviously, we were all headed in the same direction. And I remember saying it to, I swear to God, every adult there. But I know for a fact I told someone, I was like, I'm just going over to this kiosk. The kiosk was like 10 feet away, maybe two, like maybe 15. I was like, I just want to look at the toys because that's the time when they had all those kiosks set up with like all the hats, the, the light up toys, the action figures, all that stuff. And I remember it. I remember it being Buzz Lightyear themed. And I had stated, I'm going over here. I'll be right back. <laughs> well. Stay here. Everybody left. All 13 of you. <laughs> all 13 of you just kind of left. And like when I turned back around, like nobody was there. 
And I remember it like it was yesterday because, it, you know, some things you just never forget. And that would be one of them. I remember going back to the wall where everybody had met up and I was just like kind of, I wasn't like bawling my eyes out, but like I was visibly upset because I was like, I don't know Your what lip to do. Was quivering. Like yeah. I'm upset, but not like to the point of like, mm-hmm. you know, I kept my composure as like a what, 10 year old? <laughs> yeah. So, um, this lady who had her like baby in the carriage was just like, are you like, and she kept her distance, like not to like freak me out or anything, which I respected. She was like, are you okay? Like, are you lost? Whatever. And I was just like, I told them I was going somewhere and now they're not here. <laughs> like, I just remember saying straight up, like, I think they left without me. So she offered, she just stayed with me until someone came back. And I remember. She stayed with me the whole time. Like, she did not let me out of her sight. I remember walking and then there was the melted snowman. Yes. And we did a head check and then we're like, oh, we're missing one. And then they were like, play on the snowman. So we were just jumping on this melted, like, snowman <laughs> statue I don't really, like, comprehend, like, who was missing or, like, <laughs> where or, yeah. like, what. I just remember being, like, okay, like, we're going to chill and sit here. And then I think Dad went back mm-hmm. and was just I think just it was dad. just Dad. Or maybe one of the uncles. Yeah. Maybe Uncle Rick, actually. I think yeah. the two of them came. And then, so we were just chilling. And then they went back, found you, and then came back and were like, okay, we're all here now. I was so and livid. I was so livid. They didn't even apologize. They blamed me. I was like, how is this my fault? <laughs> I told you. Middle child syndrome is real, okay? I'm just saying it like it is. Kind of crazy. And there's 14 of us. That's what I'm saying. There's like enough of you guys to like hear me. Someone would have heard me. That's what's crazy is that whether I was talking to an adult, I know for a fact someone, even one of the kids would have heard me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like... Come on, you guys. Yeah. What I don't understand is, like, who was carrying the cooler, who was carrying the strollers, because Back it was the strollers. The strollers were always being pushed by either Ainsley, Adam, Daniel, or, like, the grown-ups. Okay. And but then like, under the strollers had, like, the lunch bags. Or uh, Dad would have the lunch bag. <laughs> and then... Scooby Snacks? Yeah. Those were so good. Mm-hmm. And then I remember buying... I what I didn't buy it. I was four. I did not have a job at that point. <laughs> I remember getting a pink T-shirt, and it had Minnie Mouse coming through the front and like mm-hmm. on the back. Her butt it also looked like she was like coming through the shirt. I had that for so long. It would not surprise me if it's downstairs somewhere in a box. One of my favorite things too was. Do you remember that was the first time we went to Disney Springs, which it's called something else now, actually. Bush Gardens. No, it's like Dis something. Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney. Yeah. Oh, so it's Disney Springs now. Sorry, Downtown Disney was what it used yeah. to be called. Um, and that was fun too. All the shops and stuff there. I thought that was the second time we went. I think we went the first time because we went to all. Like, do you remember? Oh my god, do you remember the day we went to Animal Kingdom? I remember the water slide and not being tall enough to go on. Oh my god! I remember going. You guys to come down. No, I remember going into like one of the 4D movies that you hated. You hated 4D movies, and it was like a big bench thing, and it was for a Bug's Life, and you I bawled your eyes out when you saw the stink bug was gonna fart. <laughs> like, and you were like, I didn't want any to and like whenever they were like leaving, and they were like, "Excuse me, no, excuse me," you're no. like, oh, the "Bugs <laughs> under my seat." I did not like that. I still don't really like them. I go back to Animal Kingdom because I haven't been there since the first time. We went again. We didn't go to Animal Kingdom. That was we've only been once. Did we? So that was that trip, and that yeah. trip was really fun. Absolutely. And then the second time we went away, was it a cruise or was it Disney again? Uh, we've only been to Disneyland twice, three, three times. times. One was just our family, though. One was just us. Like, Ainsley didn't come. Yeah. Was it Disney or the first cruise? I think it was Disney I think it was Disney again a couple years later. And I remember ordering a turkey leg, because I was like eight. Yeah. (laughs) You could eat real food. And Dad was like, you better eat that full thing. Cost me $18. Or like, however much it was. I had like 10 bites out of it. And gave it the rest to him. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think he was that bad. Because he got to eat the rest of the... The turkey leg. I know. I don't even know why dad complains. Because it's like, you just eat it anyway. <laughs> like, you eat the extra food. Yeah. So, 
Man, that was so fun. I like going to Disney and I would love to plan another trip. I really do want to mm-hmm. go back. Like, I feel that no matter how old you are, like, it really is the most magical place on earth. For sure. Or even just, like, all the different ones. Yep. The, just to see the different castles. Absolutely. The second time we went, it was kind of just like the first. Like, we did a bunch of different parks. It was fun because I could ride the rides now. It was tall enough, you know. Tower of Terror, wasn't that the second time? I'll never, or was that the I'll first never time? forgive our parents for that. That was almost worse than getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's always you. <laughs> I know. I remember that lineup because you couldn't go on it. I couldn't go on it. You were not tall enough. No, I was. But didn't you but stay I didn't on want your to go. Toes? No, I just didn't want to because basically it's like that ride was a play off of the Twilight Zone. So it's like you go into a small room and then they show you the Twilight Zone kind of clip. And then um, you're like taken to this room and it looks like so industrial because it's just a bunch of elevator doors and you're like, this is suspicious. That's, That's suspicious. weird. <laughs> and uh, I remember asking our uncle and mother, um, oh, what one do we go into? Because, like, you always have the ang- the ang- like the anxious, like, oh, the butterfly in the tummy before any ride. Yeah, and, like, maybe the first one might be, like, a little easier than, like, the yeah. fourth one, you know? Well, that's when our uncle said, oh, it doesn't matter what door you take, anyone's the wrong one. And that's when I should have just said, get me off <laughs> this ride. I don't want to be here. Because then we walk into, like, an elevator... You're, and you're like getting ready to sit down and I was like oh my gosh I don't think I can do this like mom like what happens and she's like oh it drops you like twice three times that's a lie that ride dropped you like six times it take you up and down and up and down and up and I just remember like I never wanted to be on that ride again and I haven't <laughs> good yeah I thought I was gonna pee my pants for the first time I thought I was gonna pee my pants on a ride I was like there's I don't want to be here I hate drop rides and then everybody got off and was just like what did you think that was so fun i was like i hated every minute of that <laughs> do you know what ride i wish i went on no um aerosmith i sat down and got right up <laughs> it was in the dark and i was not prepared for that and then i was like get me off this ride <laughs> but the um one in animal kingdom the water one where apparently there was, like, a one. big T-Rex head and, like, it looks like it's going to eat you and then you draw. That's in Universal. That's Jurassic Park. Oh. When we go, well, like, let's go and, like, let's legit go on it. I like Universal. I love Universal. So fun. So each time we went to Disney, we always did go to Universal as well. For a day or, what, like, two. Yeah, because remember we rode the Hulk ride? It's not The Incredibles, ride. isn't it? Nope. That's in California. Disneyland, California. The Incredible Roller Coaster. The Incredible Coaster. Oh, I thought we wrote it. Anyway. Woody Woodpecker. They have a good setup where, like, one park's coasters, one park's more simulator. Yeah. Right? 100%. I also never went on The Mummy because everybody was like, bugs. And obviously, from a bug's life, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to go on it. So, funny thing about that ride, because you know how I recently went back to Universal, like, last year or whatever? So, when I first, when we first went to Universal... I was in this ride with Padina, like my godmother, our cousin, and it was me. And everybody was like, this ride is fun. Okay, whatever. I should have known at that moment that like as soon as you pull up to that wall and all the bugs, which it's it's like a projection, mm-hmm. all of them run out. I should have known at that moment that like I was going to hate my life. Like, this is it. This is the end. <laughs> and it like shoots you backwards and then you like turn around and you do the roller coaster. Well... There's this big drop, obviously, and that's when they grab your picture. And I, when I tell you that this picture, like, Nick looks horrified. Padina is just like, what the fuck? And I am just like, I have tears because, like, I wasn't ready. And, like, I'm, like, ducked under. And I remember Padina just saying, like, that's not right. <laughs> that is not right. Whatever. Years go by. I was like, I'm ready to do this last year. I went on it again. No tears this time, but I'm literally in the Still exact, not ready. I'm still in the same position. Yeah. I'm like, you're kidding yeah. me right now. Oh. It was crazy. It's such a fun time every time you go. And there's those certain rides that you're just like... You have moments. Have to. Yeah. Have to go on it. Like, no matter the weight. Yeah. Like, you have to wait. Yeah. Like, regardless. Our... I'm not even going to keep count of these family trips anymore. But then we finally went on a cruise. Yeah. I don't Our even remember cruise. where we went. It was like Cozumel. 
I love Cosmo. Um, the Cayman Islands? Yes. In Jamaica, because we got our hair braided. True, that was traumatizing. And yep. I, we were both crying by the end of it. <laughs> that was just traumatizing yeah. in general. Just because, like, they wanted so much money out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did have a full head of hair that was braided and had four beads on every single one. Yeah, I don't know why you got your whole head braided. This is the style, even my bang. You're like that that episode of Friends with Monica. Yeah, <laughs> <She's> literally. Like... <laughs> Except I had bangs, braided bangs. I remember the first, like, ten minutes we were on that cruise. Do you remember the guy came up? The 24 karat plastic gold ship, ship on, on a stick. stick. And then you were played the entire week on the big screen. Yeah, they recorded us. They were like, do a little dance and you'll win this trophy. So me and the cousin, Julia, we were just... Did, did a little dance. I not want to do it. I just went like this, I think. Like, just like, shook my arms or whatever. Mm-hmm. Still got that plastic gold ship on a stick, though. Mm-hmm. And it was nice to just look up and see me on the Jumbotron. You were like, Mom, I made it. You know? Like, Yeah. This is my peak. I'm 10. <laughs> I did this. I was wearing like camo, I think. Oh my gosh. It was good. And then... Yeah, your camo with the bedazzled line on it. Do you remember like this? And it had like a ruffle on the bottom. It was pink. It Wasn't it pink, the ruffle? A light pink. Maybe. I, I just remember green remember. and pink. But that was fun. Mm-hmm. And then... Our days at sea. We got cause... sent to boot camp, like kid camp, because parents wanted to go do their own thing. And I was like, Day no. Care. Like, I thought it was the funnest thing ever. I got to color a t-shirt. But you got... It was daycare. It was daycare, yeah. yeah. I still have the shirt. It says, Mom, I'm ready for another cruise. Another. <laughs> it's like, uh, another. And then I realized it was one word. And I oh, hyphenated no. it. <laughs> you hyphenated it? Yeah. I was like, how am I supposed to fix this? It was a marker. Oh. Let me erase it. <clears throat> Add a dash. Yeah, so I was like, oh, it's one word now. Holy. And then, now looking back, I'm very like, yeah, you just were enjoying yourself at the pool, and I was in daycare. So thanks for that. Yeah, when we could have also been enjoying ourselves by the pool. Yeah, like, I know how to swim. Yeah, for like, real. You were probably getting 24 hour ice cream taken away out of our grasp. Literally. So when we were in daycare, that's where we were though. And the buffet, the midnight buffet. Do you, you remember the do fruit? Anymore. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why. And like all the like probably too much waste. Like not enough people awake. <laughs> Lame. But I know. Just, How like, are you on a cruise and going to bed at midnight? It's crazy. Literally the omelet bar. I would go on another cruise specifically for the food, but ask them not to leave the port. <laughs> like I just want cruise food. Oh, and we had, like, a great waiter. I remember that. Oh, yeah, we had a fantastic waiter. And he was, like, he was always asking how we were doing. Like, if we needed anything, he would cut, like, my steak for me instead of, my, yeah, he like, did. getting mom or dad to do it. All the kids were at one table, all the grown-ups at another. And then didn't he bring out a baked Alaskan on the very last day? Yeah. He brought out uh, something big for us. I don't know. He was so nice, though. So nice. And we went to a lot of shows, too. Yeah, we also tried a lot of new foods. Yeah. Like, I tried alligator and we frog. We tried escargot. That's where we fell in love with escargot. So good. And then... Which, escargot is like a seafood. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that. They're sea snails. Yeah. Being so pescatarian, I can eat them. Yeah, again. you can eat them. And then... Um, like, I just miss going in and seeing the lobby. Like, you know how the floors are usually, like, crystal-y? And, like, Before the everybody's and, walked yeah, all over them. It's like, everything's that clean. new ship smell. <laughs> that new ship smell, yeah. even though it's been on the sea. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we, we walk into the room, and there's, like, two beds. And I'm like, okay, well, who am I sharing a bed with? And then we come home, come back to the room at, what, 7 p.m.? Yeah. After dinner or something. And you find out they pull it Bunk down. bed from the ceiling. Like, okay, shot that. But what if I roll out in the but middle I, of the night? There's I don't like think I did sleep on it. I think you did. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, mm, I get the bed. And the toilets. I remember hating the toilets. Yeah, because it's loud and obnoxious. Yeah, it's like an airport. And like it like, sucks Oof. your soul out. Yeah, <laughs> like, literally. Like a dementor. Yeah, like you, like you don't want to be sitting on that night. thing when you flush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you'll go through it. Yeah, you'll go with it. That's actually so funny, yeah. The cruise was fun, and I definitely think it's a, 
it's an experience, you know, especially if you want to see multiple places for like mm-hmm. a reasonable price. I think cruises are worth it. And it yeah. was definitely a lot of fun. I remember the first day we were on it, that's when you stole my bread. No, that was the second cruise. Oh, it was the second yeah, cruise? Yeah, so we then I after our my first cruise, everybody loved it. Yeah, and I, then, everybody was obsessed. Yeah, and then we went on our second cruise, and I don't think Ainsley was on this one. Um, I feel like she was only on one. Yeah, so I don't think she was on this one. And then that's when it was mostly... The, the Discanos weren't on it either. It was us and the Ferreras. Was it? Yeah, they okay. went on a different cruise, I think. And then... That's because it was just me, you, and Nick. Because we didn't have to go to, like, camps. True, Because you guys were old enough. <laughs> True. And then... I got a medal on that one. Of course you did. For doing the thriller. For doing the thriller. Yeah, Michael Jackson's thriller. Because he had just, they just made his movie. Because he had passed was away it that? before. Was it that? Yeah, because they did a whole midnight screening. Do you remember the laser show? Yeah. It's where I fell in love with sticks. Yeah, <laughs> that was the, that was the second one because we went to St. Martin Mm-hmm. St. Thomas. And I got sick and went back on board. And it was St. Patty's Day. What about you got sick with? Just a 24-hour flu because it literally started at 6 a.m. when we got off the ship and it ended at midnight that day. Because it wasn't seasick. No. You, no, because we don't have... We don't really get motion sick, which is why we ride all the rides and stuff. Yeah. So it was... That was a fun one. And that was when I... That was the one I stole your bread on. Yeah, we literally are, like, less than two hours on this ship, right? So, like, what they allow you to do is, like, they take your luggage. You don't even take your own luggage. Mm -mm. They take it at the gate, and then, like, you kind of go and adventure. You're actually, like, you're straight up adventuring around as soon as you're on the ship Mm. because then they bring your bags to your room, like, later on in that, like, before you you leave. Yeah. So... We were like, okay, well, let's all grab a snack because naturally we're all always hungry. And, and you wait in line. For absolutely. Hours. It feels like forever. So I remember like, yeah, we went, had a little buffet action. And she, this, this bitch eats her plate. And like, I still have food on mine and I'm like picking away at it. And she reaches over, manhandles my bread and says, you're going to eat that and <laughs> takes it anyway. And I'm like, Selena, what the hell? I Let do me. that so often. It's Are so, you going to oh eat that? God. Meanwhile, it's already in her mouth. <laughs> like, <laughs> my mouth is full with it. Are you going to eat this? I'm like, I don't understand. That was so she could have gotten up and gotten more food. But <laughs> and that one had an arcade on it. And a library. Or was that Nerd. the next one? The next one. Because remember, there were some yeah. people who just wanted to stay like indoors and we were like let's go outside let's go to the pool and then we went to disney in between no oh yeah maybe just i think us. one more time yeah just the four of us just the four of us and that was last episode i wore that orange cheetah print shirt like <laughs> four times that's that trip. true she was like literally obsessed we had matching tube tops Mm-hmm. I had a yellow one, you had a purple one, and it had, like, palm trees yeah, like, palm leaves no, palms, on it. Yeah, like, no, palm leaves. Yeah. And then, uh... I wonder where that is now. <laughs> yeah, literally. I'm I don't have it. it, I know that, but I just wonder where it made it I to. don't either. Like, where did you end up? Do you ever wonder where your old clothes go? <laughs> yeah. It's like, why didn't... I don't remember getting rid of you. This is why I don't want to get rid of things, because I'm like, they yeah. had a better life with me. <laughs> and, uh, we went to Epcot, and we spent a long time in Epcot. Epcot's probably my favorite part. We ate so much food. Well, yeah, it's around the world. Like, obviously, I want to eat all of it. I would go for sure back now because I feel like I'm... Well, you can drink everywhere. Why wouldn't you? That, and I would try more things because we didn't really eat sushi at the time and, like, going to That's Japan fair. And, like, going to whatever other ones they have. Egypt? Mm. You go into, like, the big pyramid? No, that's Mexico. Huh. Full circle. Full circle. <laughs> that, full my circle friends, moment. is a callback to Here episode two. <laughs> yeah. 
and then you walk in and it's like a whole other park. It's, it's like massive. nighttime. And it's yeah, like, no, that's in Mexico. I remember that I ate using the crap out of me. Yeah. It's probably so good. And then It was fantastic. Exactly. I ate there last year. <laughs> like I have to go back and I just feel I would have such a better time. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, like, we need to go. Because we went to a British pub and ate fish and chips. Which, I'm actually so excited to go and eat now that I'm eating fish again. So, like, I will have the fish and chips again. Yeah, but, like, you can get that here. Yeah, but it's... I mean, you can get sushi It's made by British people. Yeah. Yeah. And we could go and get a poutine. No, you can't, actually. Really? Yeah. Because the cheese is technically still illegal in the States, right? Quote, unquote. The way we pasteurize that cheese... You can't technically have it in the States. Why don't they do what Albert says and just use shredded? So, um, they can't, I don't know, they just, they what didn't they have it when I was there. Pancakes then and maple syrup? Like, they had, um, some sort of beef thing. Like a thing that... Like a beef Wellington? Is that Canadian? No. <laughs> no, I can't remember what it is, but it is like a, it was some sort of meat it was like interesting. Nice. Yeah. Is jerky Canadian? No. I was gonna say we have a lot of people that make jerky here. No, cheese jerky. Cheese jerky? What? From Hannah Montana. <laughs> I made the cheese, I made the jerky, put them both together. What do you got? Cheese jerky. <laughs> what the heck? It's like the second episode of Hannah Montana. I know, but like why would <laughs> what would possess you? I was just watching it. Oh. Yeah. I was rewatching it. And then that was a very fun trip, and that was like our first family trip. Just the four of us, even though it wasn't our full family. It wasn't our full family, but it was without cousins. Mm-hmm. So that was like our first alone family that was on a plane, and obviously not full family, but not my fault. <laughs> she moved out. <laughs> was it that, or was it that she just didn't want to go, I don't think? Because wasn't was that gone. the year... She moved out when I was nine, so she was definitely gone. Oh, true. And then... To be fair, she is, like, way older than you. Yeah. She also... Did she have a kid? No. Oh. Well, she was busy, couldn't get time off work, something like that. And then... We also went to Universal that trip. I love Universal. We rode the Soren ride. That's Disney. Nine times. My parks are <laughs> messed up. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Epcot, actually. Soren. Oh, yeah, it is. And one Disney trip before that, we went downtown Disney and we ate in that fire and ice, like a rainforest cafe, but it's It was the dinosaur one, dinosaurs. yeah. That was really cool. We sat in the... Igloo, ice Age. The ice... Ice Age. Yeah. That that, yeah, really we got cool. stuffed dinos. You remember that? I made a super dino. Yeah. I have a, like, I forget what mine looked like right now. I'm just picturing Luna's toy is, like, the one I made. <laughs> the pink and the green dinosaur. I don't know what dinosaur you made. I know I made, like, the one, like, um... There's pictures of it somewhere. You know the one, like, Ducky? I still have it, actually. His name is Ducky, right? No, like, Ducky from Land Before Time, that dinosaur. Like, the one with the bill. Yeah, but our, didn't you name yours Ducky? No, I can't remember its name. Mine's definitely downstairs, too. Probably. Yeah. Stuffed animals, I just don't get rid of. Yeah. I just love them too much. There's probably so many pictures, but probably we'll never see them again because it's they're gone somewhere. Well, Dad probably recorded over them. Was that the first time we that went? It was the first Disney trip. Or, do no, you, no, second. No, I it was the first one because it was the first one that he had filmed the light parade that Disney puts on, which I don't think they do it every night anymore. They do it like certain days. So he filmed it, but then the second time we went, he recorded over it with something else. Like, get a fresh... Get a new tape, sir. <laughs> yeah. When he came. It was funny. But I mean, like, I think it just makes the memory that much better. To be honest. Half of a light show. Half a light show, and then it just cuts to, like, your communion yeah. or something. Do you remember going to um, the show in the Which big one? blue hat? Fantasia. Yes. Fan- nope. It's the fan something. It's not Fantasia? No, but it is called like the... It's like a laser show on the water and stuff. Yeah, that's like literally my favorite thing. Do you remember trying to get out of the place after that? Because the park like closes like right as that show ends. Same with like fireworks and stuff though at Magic Kingdom. But I'm going to be real with you. Every time we've gone, I push that stuff out of my head. So I don't really remember it. 
I don't remember much. I remember sitting in like three different spots to watch the, like. Yeah, should we sit here? Out? No. Yeah. <laughs> should we go here? No, let's try and move closer. <laughs> yeah. And then we went on another cruise. True. And that was where the iconic picture came from. No, that would have been the first one. And you know what I'm thinking is Ainsley didn't go on the third cruise. She was on the second one with her boyfriend. Do you remember when he came? You were on the second one with your boyfriend. No, the third one was when What's-His-Face came because Ainsley didn't. Oh. Yeah. Are you sure that wasn't the first one? Nope. I'm positive. It was just straight family, the first one. Second one, Ainsley's boyfriend came. And then the third one, Ainsley didn't come at all. Ah. Okay. So then the third one, yeah, the third one would have been the iconic yes, photo. Yeah, and yeah. I was wearing my Bob Marley One Love Oh yeah, shirt. your Bob Marley shirt. Do you even yeah. still have that? No. My God. You just get the Kanye one. Oh. That's crazy. That was black and then the One Love is written in like yellow, green, and red. That's so funny. It's an iconic picture. It is pretty iconic, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, we look like superstars. I think it's the only picture we made Mumbai. As she should, and she should blow it up and put it there. It is black and white. I know. It should go actually right here. (laughs) While we film. 100%. It should be us. It should. We should just put a picture of us up there. Maybe coffee or something. There's a bajillion photos downstairs, and I don't want to go through all of them. For what? To find it. I think I have it. Somewhere. And after that, there wasn't really anything big that happened on that cruise. No, it was pretty quiet. Like Yeah, like no one got lost. No one, <laughs> no one got lost. No one went overboard. No. I wonder where this photo is. No one... Yeah, that was a pretty chill trip. Nothing major happened. After that, we kind of just stuck to Niagara or Toronto. Absolutely, we did. We didn't go anywhere big, really. Okay, wait. Why did you send me this photo of me? Because it's cute. (laughs) I look pissed. (laughs) Yeah. So, okay. Well, anyway, um, we would go every August, usually like the weekend before Labor Day, literally my birthday, we would go to the outlets and they would have all the Labor Day sales on. That's true. I felt bad for dad because we went to Toronto one time for my birthday and we ate in the CN Tower. Oh, God, that was so long ago. And I looked up prices for it. It's expensive now. Taking a family of five. Okay, but you have to remember, back then, because how long ago was that? It wouldn't have been as expensive as it is now. Yeah, but it still would have been expensive for the time. Yeah, I guess, but not like right now. True, I guess. And then we kind of all just did our own like little trips. Yeah. I went to Italy. Yeah, I know. You've been uh, around Europe. A little. And then I went to Portugal and Spain. Remember when we went to France? And then I went to Portugal again. (laughs) And then I went to France. And then I went to Punta Cana with mom and dad. And I went to Dominican. That looked like such a fun trip. Dominican and Punta Cana looked amazing. It was, was, honestly. And I did feel bad for mom. Now she got sick for two days. Really? But then it was just me and dad chilling by the pool. Went, went to she just had the flu? an espresso bar. <sighs> yeah. And like they had like ice caps there and gelato and stuff. So dad and I would go every like two hours and mm-hmm. go get a coffee, God. an espresso, gelato. Did you have your own room when you were there? They pull out couch. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So it was like living room, room, and then a bathroom. Okay. Yeah. So I had the whole living room to myself. Well, it's nice that you and dad didn't get sick. Yeah, it was just like uh, like from the food, probably. Just didn't settle right with her stomach, so she had that for 48 hours. We were trying to buy her, like, medication at the little... They usually have, like, little shops, right? 
And dad's like, I need something for this. This is what's happening. And the worker's like, here. And then he's trying to read it. It's all in Spanish. And he's like, I'm trusting you. Like, this is the right stuff. Because she didn't bring the mito, no, gravel maybe? A gravel and stuff. Something. Yeah. So, it was a fun trip. We went dune buggying. Yeah, would you do that again? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. Because mine kept shutting down and the guy was like, you're going too fast. You're like in the last. I'm like, I'm on a dune buggy. Yeah, I want to go fast. You weren't allowed to go fast? Mm-mm. Because the road was bumpy, it like did something. They were on lawnmower engines. Oh. So they had kept having to restart it. And I was like, okay, I'm done with this. Like, Well, I still want to go. Punta Cana was very nice. Puerto Plata was also very nice. I'm a big pool person. Me Don't too. really care for the beach. Mm. So I was in the pool most of the time. That's fair. Yeah. And like swim up bar. Those are amazing. Mm -hmm. So you had fun in Dominican as well, you said? Dominican was fun. Because you went with friends. That time, yeah, the second time. Went with my best friend and her boyfriend. And all we did was drink and sit by the pool. And then the boyfriends went and played beach volleyball. (laughs) Basically the whole weekend. That's actually amazing. Weekend. Week. (laughs) Just go for a weekend. Yeah, we went snorkeling. Kevin was sick that day. He really wanted to snorkel. The reason why we did snorkeling was because of him. And he was sick. He couldn't even snorkel. He stayed under this, like, they literally take you to the this island that's the size of the living room. That's it. And there's, like, two huts on it. One hut has a guy with rum. The other hut is, like, abandoned. Okay. So Kevin just, like, laid in the abandoned hut the entire time we were snorkeling. Was he okay? No. <laughs> but he still came. Why would he go? I don't know. He thought he would be feeling better. But he gets car sick, and the way they drive over there, it was like a pretty long bus ride, too. So it was probably a big chunk of it. That man needs to learn to take gravel before he goes anywhere. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Snorkeling's fun, though. Yeah, I remember seeing like the reef and stuff. When yeah. We went, but like, it's also so spooky. Yeah. I remember the one cruise we went on when we were like snorkeling. The guy was like, is that a shark fin out there? It was our cousin with a bucket on his head. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I do remember that. Oh, I want to travel more. I really do. I want to, there are places like I just want to go back to though, you know? Like I want to go to Florida. Like I want to go to Disney World again. They're different trips. Yeah. Like Disney and, well, I really can't say it's more affordable because it's it's like $400 for a ticket. Yeah, I want to go to, like, L.A. I want to see what the hype is. I don't. <laughs> go to Disneyland, California. <laughs> you can answer it. It's okay. Just tell them what you're doing. <laughs> the fiancé. <laughs> yeah, and then there's, like, I want to go to New York in the summertime. Um, where else do I want to go? I do want to see New Orleans. I'd love to see you to New Orleans. I want to see New York at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. I just hate the cold. I'm trying to think of other places I want to go. Definitely back to Europe. For sure. Definitely That's back to Europe. That's number one on my list over everything else is Europe Mm -hmm. as it should be I do want to go to Japan Japan's the top of my list Mm. but it's just very expensive to get there yeah and then but like once you're there usually that's how it always is once you're there like it's not bad it's always just the flights that get you it's a long flight too how long is that one long I think it's like 18 hours yeah 16 or 18 it's the same I want like I don't know I'm torn between wanting to go to Australia no. and then not wanting to go to Spiders. Australia. Spiders. <laughs> Spiders. Those are everywhere. This is my head. That's apparently a myth. <laughs> the They're not in the backwards. <laughs> yeah, they the, are. Have the, you not seen the videos the, of people like finding them in their house? They're like chilling in the corner and they're just like, hey, Bob. And I'd be like, you need to evacuate. <laughs> yeah, like sell the house. <laughs> yeah. I'd go to New Zealand though. New Zealand would be... Because they don't have the spiders or the snakes that... New Zealand would be pretty. 
Switzerland. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a couple. You have plans to go to Germany. Germany looks beautiful. Get some schnitzel. <laughs> Where uh, what's it called? A Lauterhausen? Lauterhausen? What is it? Those the outfit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, are you talking about the <laughs> yeah. fashion? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. I would do it. Wear it. Just for the... Oh, because you're going for Oktoberfest too, aren't you? Hopefully. You have to time that, right? Mm-hmm. Are you going to Italy first? I think we're going to do Germany and then Italy. Because Germany, we can... is more of like sightseeing. A more busy go 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 kind of thing, mm. and then where I want to go in Italy, I just want to be on the coast, so it'll be more relaxing. So we can go do sightseeing, be in a different country, and then kind of just end with just a little, a little z z z z. Yeah, meme on the beach. Yeah, no, I'll drinking like limoncello. Drinking limoncello. You just drink that straight up. Limoncello spritz. Ugh, I was gonna say, why are you just drinking limoncello? <laughs> it tastes like lemons. I know, but still, it just sounds so lemony icky <laughs> anyway i've never drank it straight i've never even had it i don't think it's lemony yeah i could imagine with the name limoncello that like it's yeah. a lemon j- drink it's literally like you can make it yourself the drink no lemon jello how vodka oh and then you have to like cut like 24 lemons <laughs> exactly let it sit and like a pound of sugar and let it sit for like a week or two. And Sounds like a it. lemonade. A fun lemonade. Yeah, it's fun lemonade. It's adult lemonade. Exactly. What's not to like about it? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I ain't judging. I'm not Very judging. sweet just... though. Like, you can't drink too much of it or else you'll hate yourself in the morning. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it just sounds like something you get. If you get sick, you're done. Yeah. But I like it better than an Aperol Spritz. Because I don't really like Aperol. Aperol is so bitter. If we plan a trip, should we do the podcast from there? Yes. We should have did that when we were in France. True, but you were still iffy on the whole thing and we didn't have the setup. Not iffy. Kind of. I've been down for this since I suggested it. (laughs) We didn't talk about our France trip. So I texted you one random day. And I I said, said, Tara, let's go to France. Flights are cheap. Found Airbnb that's cheap. It's gonna cost us nine hundred bucks. So we so you we said did it. yes. And then it was just supposed to be us, and then two other people tagged along. Yeah, by chance. Well, it worked out for you. Yeah, it did. My boyfriend and then her friend at the time. Not your friend at the time. My boyfriend <laughs> at the your time. Boyfriend at the time. Yeah, he's no longer the boyfriend. He's a fiance. It was pretty incredible, if I do say so myself. I just remember because that was it was the first day. It was the very first day we got there. We went. We right just wanted off to get plane. it. We wanted to get it out of the way. We were like, we don't yeah. want to carry this around. We just need to get this over with. And he was down. He was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got a shuttle. We got a. What was it called? A. It wasn't a lift. It was the green that never worked. The green Uber like. Oh, I don't thing. even know what it was. It was just like a like a European Uber. Yeah, and we got that to the hotel. Or Airbnb, whatever. We went upstairs, immediately changed, and was like, okay, food. Like, we need to eat. Ate. Well, no, so that's when we... So, we were hungry, but we ended up going down near the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. We went to that one little, like, bistro-y thing that was very touristy, because we were like, at least we know a lot of people are there right now. Before we started adventuring into, like, the food places, we just went somewhere that was, like... Tourist busy because then you know that like okay it's gonna be. Whatever. I'm in France. I want the touristy stuff right now. I yeah, want so a croissant. I want an omelet. I want. That's champagne. I think what we got. We got because we got in early, so we had the full yeah. day there. So we got omelets. Mm-hmm. And by the way, it's true what they say. No one can cook an egg like the French can. They say that. <laughs> yeah, that's you go to France to learn how to cook. Yeah, eggs. I get your hat. Yeah, but but it, like their omelets have really been the best. Oh, it was delicious. It was I don't know what they put in it. And like their oh my god, their croissants and like the bread, the oh the bread, the bread. everything about it. And then Kevin got. I don't know what he got, but I remember being like, "Why aren't you eating? Like I'm starving." He was so. I was anxious. like, "Is your stomach okay? Like, are you queasy?" He's like, "Yeah, it's just from the flight. I had no idea." I know, you were so dumb to it. Because, yeah. like, you... The thing is, is he said it was from the flight. You're... Like, you've been on trips. <laughs> you've been we on had, trips with him before. Oh, yeah, we had flew together. Yeah. 
Like, and she just didn't put it together. Because even in the uh, airport, he was. He didn't feel good on the plane though when we went to Dominican. Because oh well, fair. I don't know. I just remember like so he had his pants, but he was like they're just tight enough that if he were to put the box in it, you would have seen a lump in his pocket. They weren't skinny jeans. They were just slim fit. Yeah, they were slim fit. But like you would see like if anything oh, yeah. was in the pocket, like yeah, even you the can wallet. See your phone, yeah. So he was like, "All right, if I give this to you, could you just keep it in the purse, whatever?" When I tell you that, like I held on to that thing like a fucking like <laughs> I had no clutch. idea. I was so like, oh my god, if I yeah. get pickpocketed. <laughs> we left the bistro and we were heading towards the Eiffel Tower and there was all these schools doing this yeah, like the, the strike thing. It was like, no, I guess it wasn't a strike. No, the strike it was, was like, in Disney. It was a parade thing. It was like crazy, like a lot of people. Yeah. Like oh multiple god. schools. Yes. Yeah. And they were just, like, marching. I was like, oh, my gosh, is this going to be all week? It was just that day. I know. <laughs> we went, walked to the Eiffel Tower, looked up. Nice. And then we walked along the sign. <laughs> no, it was, like, it wasn't nice. We were pretty dumbfounded. Like, we were oh, shook yeah. to see that, like, oh, my God, we're It was just really here. busy. We're and we here. were like, okay, we need to move. We're going to do a go up the Eiffel Tower a different day. So we'll yeah, obviously like, see it. We just needed to see it today. Take picture, but, like, we I did. did. We yeah. did. <laughs> I did. So we saw it, we were like, oh my gosh. And then we went and we walked along the sign because everybody was at the Eiffel Tower. So all the bridges and all the ports, I guess. Like, <clears throat> we're busy. No, they weren't really. There well, wasn't the many people on was. the bridge. Oh, like the main one yeah. to the Eiffel Tower. But all the other ones really weren't that busy. He had originally, we had originally picked a spot that was going to be down where we went for your photos after. Mm-hmm. That's where it was supposed to happen. But you were... <laughs> Writing your name somewhere. And he was like, this is the moment. Yeah. Should I put forever? Forever. <laughs> so we went to the lock bridge where everybody puts the locks on the bridge. And I was the love told bridge. you were not allowed to put locks on it anymore. So I brought a permanent marker. Yeah. And all of a sudden she says, I'm going to put Cav and Selena forever. Yeah. He was like, he's like, is this a good time? And I was just like, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> like, I passed in the box. Well, he started talking to you. I was literally in my own world. I had a permanent marker. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, okay, K plus S forever. And then put a heart around it. And then he started talking to me. And I'm like, you're being really cheesy right now. You're like, are you going to break up with me? I'm like, is it, this is a bad time. We have seven days left here. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then he kept talking. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then he got down on me. And I was like, yeah. Now's not the time to tie your shoe. Did you actually think that? At first, yeah. And I was like, because there was no way in my mind. There's no way he brought a ring through TSA because he always he, said he would never. He, he, always yeah. said he would never. Yeah. So I'm like, this is not, like, it's not. It's a movie-like scenario. And it just doesn't, that stuff doesn't happen to me. It ain't happening to me. But it did. And then he was like, okay, we need to go to another restaurant immediately because I'm starving. After, yeah, she said yes. Mind you, you should tell everybody that you didn't say yes right away. The very first thing you said. The very first thing I said was, did you ask my dad? <laughs> did you ask my dad? And then he said, yes. And then he said, will you marry me? And then I said, obviously. And then he was mad that I didn't say yes to that. And I'm like, obviously is more certain <laughs> than a yes. That's kind of true. Right? Because it's like, obviously, as in, like, why would you expect no? Yeah, like, there's no other word in the vocabulary other than obviously that could have worked for that. And then we went down, took the pictures, walked back up, got a beer on the side of the road for a euro. Yeah, we did. A euro for a beer. People sell beer on the side of the road, wine. It was amazing. And then we went to, I think, another bistro. Yeah. And we got a burger. And then he was like, okay, now it's time to party. And, and then, then we, we drank. Walked. Yeah. We walked. We went back to the apartment. Did yeah. we do anything else we that We walked a lot. That trip. We ate a lot too, though. It was good. That was sushi delicious. place around the corner from where we stayed was fantastic. There was also a shawarma place. There was a shawarma place. The, yeah. the place that I stumbled upon... That I brought you guys to. I loved the, the food there. St. Mikhail. You guys liked it, yeah. Right by Notre Dame. Yeah. That wasn't until the end of the week. I know, but you were like, I like yeah. it. We went. He loved it. 
the second day we were there, we did... I don't remember what we did, to be honest. It was just so much fun the whole time. The second day we were there, we went to Disney. Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Yeah. And there was that strike. Yeah, so like half the rides were closed. I messaged Disney and they were like, you can e- send an email to HR. And I was like, Mom. No, you should have. You should. I should have. Still, you should. You still should. I should should. Be like, hey, yeah. I just brought this memory back up. And you know and what? I'm still salty I about beef. it. You know, yeah, we should message them and see like. Half the rides were closed. Half the restaurants were closed. Half the shops were closed because they were on strike. Yeah. So half the workers weren't working. So they let in half the amount of people they would normally let into mm-hmm. the park that day, which is like also so silly. Mm-hmm. And I'm not totally mad because they had an adventures campus there. I'm a big MCU person, so that was still cool to see. But only what two rides were open? Yeah, Spider Man and one other one. Spider Man was crazy because it was uh, Wait, virtual we reality. Too, for but like... it was virtual reality. Remember, yeah. you had to like kill the bots. And it was like watching you, so you were doing yeah. this while killing them. That was crazy. And then Kevin was just going like this. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he didn't even do the hand thing. Yeah, he was just yeah, going. just yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then seeing that their castle, Sleeping Beauty's. Sleeping Beauty's castle was gorgeous. It yeah. was insane. We rode. No characters were out. Space Mountain twice, didn't we? Or just the ones? No, just the just ones the because ones. we thought it broke down. <laughs> We thought, yeah, I'm like, I'm. what ride stops in the middle of the dark in front of a big screen? And nothing's playing. And nothing like, was playing. I was like, are we supposed to be here? No. Like, is that how it goes? <laughs> Probably. We should have rode it a second time to see. Yeah. But the line was way too long. Because it was, once again. It was the big ride. Like, and it was like one of the only ones open in that side of the park. And their Space Mountain became, it's the Star Wars ride. It was Star Wars, remember? Yeah. And inside, it was the movie. Was there a movie theater there? Inside, remember the big like ship building? Yeah, there's yeah. It was a big movie theater, but we weren't gonna go see a movie. In no, French. and it was just like not many people there, but crowded too. So I just remember how long it took us to find a bathroom. The oh my gosh, <laughs> the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. We waited in line for what two hours? Yeah, that's where we got burned because we were in the sun and we were like, yeah, this is nice, this is nice. And then when we got home, we were like, oh damn. Yeah, and then it was like, okay, I do like that ride. It's just like easy and it was oh, yeah. so hot outside. It was so nice to just be in air conditioning. Yeah, but getting there, we sweat. <laughs> we sweat yeah. waiting for that ride. We also didn't realize until it was too late that the line was that long. So like we were like, oh, it's just this whatever's outside. Yeah, that takes 40 you, minutes. Yeah, but it takes you around back. And then you go inside and there's another waiting area. Yeah, that's the thing with like big theme parks like that. Like that's how they get you because you look at the outside line and you're like, this is fantastic. But then once you get in the building, it's like another two yeah. hours because they loop you. Yeah. And you're like, why? <laughs> you got wet on that ride. It's not a water. It's not like a splash ride. It's not part of the wet zone. I know. But you still got wet because <laughs> like, the water just inside. Just dumped. I was like, oh, that this was isn't comfortable. Fun. And then we went just like outside of the actual park. There was like a bunch of restaurants. Yep. We ate there. We didn't even eat there. You and Kevin got like cranky. Kevin had sunstroke. Not really though. It was the heat. It was really hot that day. You guys were cranky. And then we went back. You guys had corn dogs. Inside the park. Inside the park. And uh, car land. That was fun. There was a freaking good corn dog. Yeah. And then we also had something else. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets in the park. So fried foods only on a very hot day. I could see where we went wrong. I needed the full experience though. Oh, absolutely. And then we went home. That strike pissed me off so much. Yeah. I was was livid that day. And then when they were trying to get me off the street, I was like, no, I paid to be here. Don't push me to the side. You can walk around me. Yeah. I was so busy. Get to the side so we can strike. I was like, I'm no. walking here. <laughs> and there were so many of them. I was like, oh my gosh, are you done yet? Like, oh. I don't even know what the strike was. So like, I can't even speak to it. And like, I'm sorry if that's like cold hearted. Just get a new job. You're also working at Disney. Well, Disney pays sometimes. I well, I think Disney World pays. I actually like, don't know what you make because we know somebody. Do you remember the guy that lived down the street? Mm-hmm. He ended up working at the Disney park, and he went back every summer. 
yeah, you're working at the most magical place on the planet. Why wouldn't you? True. I don't know what Disney pays, actually. But you know what, though? Disney's one of those things where, like, like, actually, I'm kind of shocked that they'd say that or be on strike because I thought Disney kept things under wraps. Like, if you work there, you can't say anything that happens, anything, whatever. But it's like, we witnessed a yeah, strike, France, so my immersion... No, France may have different, like, striking laws. Oh. Right? Fair. And then... My immersion! Yeah. <laughs> and then the one, the next day after that, we went up the Eiffel Tower. That was fun. It was fun. It was long. Windy. I like that you're a youth until 27. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was amazing. Granted, I still didn't make it, but like, yeah. it was still good. It was still... I was like, I'm going back here for five more years. I'm going to be a child. Everything's half price. Everything's half price. It was, what, 11 bucks for me to go up the Eiffel Tower? I think you also got student, didn't you? Because you'll probably get student pricing now anyway. Either Honestly, way. it wasn't even that expensive to go up. It was windy, though. Yeah, it was very windy. And $20 for a glass of champagne. A shot of champagne, I should say. The flutes were so skinny. If I had the money, I would have done it. Because you know what? You're at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, Cheers. But, mm, but it was expensive. It was very expensive. Like, I should have brought my own. <laughs> I wonder if you could have. I don't think so. They check your purse. You go through the... Can't bring a bottle of champagne? Probably not, because they want you to buy it and buy it. I wonder if a bottle would have been cheaper to buy. <laughs> probably not. They'd probably charge you like 100 bucks. 100 euros, sorry. Sorry, yeah, don't even get me started right? on that. And then that night we did something. Didn't, no, we went to bed early because we had a flight the next day and we flew into Nice. Nice was probably like, oh, but then Monaco. Yeah, it was, Nice was so nice relaxing. Was, yeah. It was a good breakup. In the middle we had week. going up to Eiffel Tower, so many people, Disney. And then we just sat at the beach for two days. Yeah. Like, on the pebbles. Literally. I honestly did not hate that one bit. Sitting at the beach? No, the pebbles. Oh, no. Like, we found a place with small enough pebbles to lay. Going in the water kind of hurt. But, like, there was no sand on you at the end of the day. Absolutely. And I remember, like, we had to go in because it was cold. But at the same time, it was like, you're only going to do this, you know, like. Yeah, it's a Mediterranean for the first time sea, once. Like, you got to go in. Yeah, so I had It was to. freezing, but we Worth ended it. up. Yeah, you get nice. numb anyway, and then it feels nice. Not even. Once that sun reached its peak... The only thing that sucked was the Airbnb was up a hill. True. A hill. Like, I'm talking was a 90 <laughs> degrees. Like, yeah. we had to climb. We had these are hands. Like, if you were on a skateboard, you'd be done. You'd be done. <laughs> yeah, and good luck getting up. Like, if you had a bike, oh my gosh. Your glutes. Yeah, like, oh. your foot is on the brake the whole way down. And you're flooring it up. It was that steep. Yeah. And the second day we were in Nice, we went to the beach in the morning, and then... I don't even remember what we did during the day aside from sitting on the beach. We went into Monaco. Oh, we yeah. We went back and we, we went, went into Monaco. But we went at a certain time because it was like, what, a really cheap train ticket. Like three days. That's it all the time. That's crazy. Yeah. i go back in a heartbeat. Monaco, yeah. for like how small it was, so pretty. So pretty and just, I could live that lifestyle my entire life. Like, it wasn't until we were in Monaco. Remember, we were on our way out. We were leaving. It was like midnight after all the shenanigans at the casino and all that. And we were like, damn, what was the car? Kevin was like, I never saw a... What was it? It was like the most expensive car. Not a Bugatti. Wasn't it? It was like the most expensive car. And we're like almost to the train in that car. Turned the corner. He's like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What car like, was Like just that? walk. I'm thinking maybe it was a Bugatti. I think it was a Bugatti. You just walk out of the train station and then you walk like mm, four houses down the street and then all of a sudden you're running into Richard Milley and I butchered that. It's Ricard Millet. Yeah. But Richard Milley is the <laughs> Canadian version of it. <laughs> and your YSL and your like just high end luxury. I remember every corner we turned, like the cars that are parked on the street are just high end cars. Like we yeah. we you're priced- poor if you have like a BMW. Yeah, like, okay, well, remember we, like, priced it out? Like, Kevin was literally, like, on that street alone. Like, there's easy a couple mils yeah, like, oh, right there. Easy. And the sushi we had there was so fresh. Mm-hmm. So good. All the... And we ate right by the finish line, didn't we? Yep. Of the... All the seating and everything from the Monaco Grand Prix was still up because it was the weekend before. Yeah. 
Emmy and I ate so much sushi that trip. It was amazing. Her I and I, so like, when we went off, that's all we just, that's all we ate. We went to this little bistro thing and got sandwiches. That was in Nice. Yeah. We only ate once in Monaco. I know. And luckily, and literally then... before we left, I was like, everybody grab your passport because I'm pretty sure you needed to get into the casino. Yeah. And we did. Yeah. We had a lot of fun that that day that and great. i like how they do it it's 18 bucks if you're like oh my gosh but you can go in and out as many times as you want yeah i remember like the guy yeah. at the front like you guys had to show me he just remembered me yeah and i just remember being like <laughs> i went ordered a champagne actually i think i ordered a martini first we ordered martinis just we to didn't feel order to champagne right champagne got ordered for us when they found out that you were recently engaged that was my second glass i ordered champagne after my martini mm, i ordered what did i order french martini and What's then the i difference? had um, like a the french martini is like a fruity one not like a olive juice oh um i don't know what i had after that i think we had champagne maybe we did yeah we had a lot of champagne that trip well you're in france i know the source. I know, but like I'm just thinking like that's a lot of bubbles. Worth it. True. That and was such a fun trip. Man. Yeah. We were lucky enough to see like the whole casino. Instead of because they block off a lot of True. Like the higher end tables and whatnot. But we were lucky enough we were able to see it from somebody we met. This podcast has just been us reminiscing of France. Well, Nothing beneficial. I don't remember, yeah, yeah, but like I, <laughs> what? I don't remember much of the other stuff. <laughs> well, I guess we should just plan a Disney trip, one hundred percent, and we'll do a podcast from inside Disney. Love that. Yeah, we will get little fuzzy mics to wear. Yeah, and we'll video and talk about it and see full stuff. Full day at Disney. Yeah, full day at Disney. We'll make a vlog of it. What? Drinking every country at Epcot. That. Sounds like the best experience of my life. <laughs> um, long story short, we went back to France. <laughs> we went back to Paris. Had two more days there. Just kind of chill. We spent a lot of time by the Eiffel Tower. We did, but I didn't see it sparkle, so I had to go spend more time there. I Absolutely. need to go. That's back. the goal. That's yeah. the goal. And then that was that trip. And then I went to Vegas. I've, I've been to Vegas. Vegas was fun. It is fun. It's so expensive. Vegas, I think, is, like, the most expensive place I've been. Like, even more expensive than Disney in certain aspects. Like, it's, you know... Like, at least at Disney, like, you can find your cheap options, you know? If, like, you're going and you want a snack, you yeah. want a drink. You can find them. You just have to look for them. Yeah. But Vegas is pricey all the time. Like, all the time. Mm-hmm. I remember I went into a penny machine. Like, I, I put a penny in. Walked out with five bucks. I was like, this is it. That's 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 it for me. <laughs> I lost all my money that weekend. <laughs> I came home with nothing. Wow. That's sad. I well, like um, I took like a hundred bucks out. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't take any more out. So I lost a hundred bucks over the four mm-hmm. days we were there. See, yeah, when I went to Vegas, like I didn't gamble. Like I wasn't there to gamble, so like I was just like yeah. I went to see things, but I wasn't like We went to a club. Mm. It was fun just to get the Vegas experience. And then me left because I was like, whatever. We went to a pool party. It was so packed. Yeah, but I heard those are fun. You can't, like, move. <laughs> you can't move. You can't put your stuff down. So you, like, you have to hold your clothes while you're in the pool. It's We left really? almost immediately. Yeah, there's nowhere to put it down. And if you want to put it on a chair, you're going to get charged, like, 400 bucks. If you want a canopy, it's, like, 1000 I'm balling on a budget here. I don't have a thousand dollars. No, to but buy between a couch. four of you, it could have been two fifty. Two fifty for a couch. Yeah, two fifty. Our pool at the hotel was free. True. We went back there, <laughs> just hung out. That's yeah. the vibe. Where'd you stay? The Mirage. Mm, that's a fancy ass one. You were on the new strip. Yeah. Where I stayed. I stayed on the old strip. Where's that? Like the old strip. Where did you stay though? The Golden Nugget. Oh. Old Vegas. Yeah. It was so we nice. went there. It was so nice. Like it's fun. Like you know what I mean. Like it's classic. Like oh, when you go there, things exactly are the cheaper. Movies. Yeah, it's cheaper there. At Old Vegas, barely. Not for food or anything. Yeah, no, not by much, but still. We were on the yeah. We were on the new strip. We went into a bunch of hotels just to see Caesar's Palace. Yeah. Oh, we so gambled gorgeous. there. I want to go back just to ride the boat. 
the gondola. I'm so upset we didn't do it. So when we were there, a friend of mine, the friend couple we went with, who also got engaged. They got engaged there. Yeah, exactly. And I had no idea once again. And then <laughs> you're so clueless. <laughs> I was so clueless. And then um, he was gonna do it on the gondola, but when we went to do it, it was closed. Mm. For what? I don't know. Just off time, probably, or something like it only ran for certain hours. Fair. And Kevin was getting like stressed out. He's like, "I'm holding this ring. You need to do it because I don't want to hold it anymore." Like, now he knows how I felt. Yeah. So then we went to the Bellagio and they had the whole flower like conservatory thing in the lobby. And literally I was like, oh my gosh, guys, someone just got engaged because I saw a girl holding flowers, like a bouquet of roses. I looked over, they were hugging and she came around with roses. I'm like, oh my gosh, someone just got engaged. And Calvin's like, I didn't know. We went up to this little balcony that kind of looked over the conservatory and then they got engaged up there. The video, Kevin's <laughs> recording. Of, it's not even your fault. Like, someone just got engaged. Yeah, I'm like, you. just pointing out something cute. I was, Kevin's recording, and then you just see him kneel down. He rests the video on his knee. He's rummaging through his bag, taking it out. He had it in, like, a sunglass bag. Why wouldn't he Taking the ring to... out of it. I'm like, oh, my God, Kevin. Like, <laughs> That's their video. <laughs> yeah, like, I realized once... We went back up the second time. So we went to just like see what it was. We had to go through a spa. There was nothing there. It was just the balcony. And then we went back and then Jared was like, no, let's go back there. And I was like, okay, sauce. But like, why didn't you just whip out your phone and say- I took Michaela's phone. Okay. And I was like, Michaela, give me your phone. This is going to be really cute because he had Jared's. Oh, like a really cute picture. Yeah. You were playing I was it like, like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, let me take it on your phone so you have it in case whatever. So I started taking pictures. So I knew what was happening after that, but the video is funny because you can just hear it like, <laughs> and then he gets Man, back up. Man, I hope I have like a cute engagement. Like I don't need it. Like I don't need to necessarily go to France. I you didn't know. need to. Was no, I know. But you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I don't know what my like dream engagement would be. I didn't have one. You just wanted to be engaged. Yeah. He always said it was going to be on the side of the interstate, so... <laughs> a little one up a little bit yeah i, I guess mean, the interstate yeah. could have been nice like if we were like in front of the detroit tire or whatever yeah <laughs> the detroit tire <laughs> yeah or like the grand canyon or something you know someone asked me the other day they were like just like why do you want to get married and i was just like because why not that's like ultimate commitment i don't know like yeah, i've just like, always wanted to okay be well why do you want to stay single forever <laughs> Why don't you want to share your last name? Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. So. I don't know. It just made me think, like, yeah, that's a valid question. Like, why do you want to? And I'm like, I don't know. Because I want... I just have a dream. Yeah. It's the dream to get married, but... I want that... Experience. Not even experience. It's just like, okay, life. it's like me and you forever. That's it. This is it. That's it. Yeah. Done. Game over. Game over. Yeah. Like, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> Like, this is it. This is the end. This is the last level. Yeah. You, like, you've won. You've won. <laughs> yeah. What did they win exactly? Game over, you won. <laughs> Me. Oh, my God. Wow. wow. That was something. We, I feel like this podcast is just people listening in on us, just reminiscing of Well, France. if they want to go to France, now they know. No, to go to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. yeah. Go to the Eiffel yeah. Tower. See, it sparkle. We didn't. Yeah. I'm salty about it. I blame Kevin. Yeah. It's 100% his fault. It, it is. And now the world knows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't leave bad comments. <laughs> no, we're just fooling, but it is his fault, though. <laughs> no, I really do. Um, I'd love to do... Maybe when the time comes, we'll do some travel podcasts, which could be a lot of fun. It could be so much fun. And we'll definitely talk more about experiences. This one was fun because we did get to talk about our traveling and, like, our past, I guess, a little bit. It's always fun to think about funny things that happened. I know, but we didn't even talk about funny things that happened, really. You getting lost. That's funny. That's um, tragic. What else happened to you? You won the Tower of Terror. What do you mean, me? Oh, my gosh. When I went to Universal last, I went on the new Velocicoaster. Fantastic ride. Super fast. Super flippy. But I burst my voice box. 
So I had like a raspy voice oh, for like the entirety like of <laughs> In Monsters Inc. Yeah, Roz. That's how I sounded like, yeah. Roz. Roz, yeah. For like the whole trip though, I was like, okay, my voice is gone. I like blew my voice box. That's funny. Somebody's always getting injured in Disney. I can put it that way. Remember when dad busted his knee on the like... Busted? Haunted it mansion was a ride? Cut. Yeah, it was the tiniest little dink. Like, it was like he, he just smacked it off of, like, the corner or something. It was and, the Haunted Mansion ride. Yep. And they then, have, like, the pods that you have to... They're always moving and you have yeah. to jump on it. And he literally hit it on the way out. And it just got a little cut. Just a little... A little tiny. Like, yeah. tiny, 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 yeah. tiny. And he made us go on, like, an hour-long boat ride around Oh, the that park. was the worst. I remember laying down on the floor. Of the yeah, boat. same. We sat down. We were like, yeah, we were like, this is awful. Watching all the kids go meet characters. <sighs> Do you remember how many kitty rides we had to go on the first time? Because of you? Yeah. Remember the talking to Crush? One? Yeah. The double one. Dumbo. Oh, Dumbo. Where yeah. it literally just goes up and around in a circle. Oddly enough, I'd do that again. Yeah. It's and just stay at the top. Honestly, I can't do big, big roller coasters anymore. What? Why? I'm not... I don't like... I'm the not young. Like, yeah, like I don't want that thrill. I don't need it. I need the thrill. No, simulators are fine. Simulators are fun. I like those rides. Like Spider-Man? Yeah. It depends on the Do type you... of sheet. We... Sheet. We... Seat. <laughs> the type of seat. Yeah. The behemoth in Wonderland? Tragic. Wonderland? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a... Yeah. No. Just a, just no. a lap no. bar. Like, no. It just goes over your lap. That's it. Doesn't click. Doesn't do anything. You don't get harness. Just the lap bar. And you're going fast and you're doing loop-de-loops. And I'm holding on to that thing for dear life. And it just, I don't need that stress. That's that's a very stressful roller coaster though. But like, and do you remember the like, Spider-Man ride? We rode it eight times. Do you remember? They just kept letting us ride it. No. Yeah. When we went to Universal the first time. Oh, doesn't left he like the drop? Yeah. And, and then kept, get you with the web. Yeah. Weird because he didn't do that in that movie. It's not about the movie, it's a ride. It's I know, different. But like he doesn't catch you. I mean he catches Zendaya, but he doesn't catch Emma Stone. Spoiler. Okay, if you haven't seen it now, you're probably not gonna watch it. Spoiler alert, Selena is a movie ruiner. But we can <laughs> talk about movies, movies in the alone. next one. We already did talk about movies. Well, we can talk about them again, because clearly you have beef with the MCU. Like the MCU for real. I don't have beef with the MCU. I have beef with the ride for not being accurate. It's not about that movie! (laughs) Still, same thing happens. That's crazy. You're wild for that one. Just saying. Well, I do remember the Simpsons one. We rode that a couple times. You go in Maggie's mouth, it smells like baby powder. Yeah, I rode that a couple times too recently. It's fun. That's a fun ride and it smells, yeah, the baby powder smell. Do you remember the um, Jimmy Neutron one and you do the chicken and dance it's in gone. it? And do, 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 do. Yes. It, it like shakes so your brain. That doesn't exist anymore. Really? Yeah, they're changing it into a minion ride. Mm. I miss Jimmy Neutron. Brain blast. Never argue with the data. <laughs> Never argue. Shane? Yeah. Is that on Disney? I don't know what it's, it's on. It's Nickelodeon. No, it's, yeah, it's Nickelodeon, so it probably it's wouldn't be. Mm. But would that wow. be Paramount? Yeah. Maybe, probably, I think so. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know. I had Paramount for a little bit. Same, but I took the free version just to watch the new iCarly, and then I was done. Same! Bro. Bro. <laughs> it was okay. I had to binge it. It was okay, not as funny. It doesn't hit the no, same. No, it doesn't. Damn. What are we looking at here? Oh, boy. I still didn't wear my glasses for this one. No, well, it's fine. I'm thinking about food now. Maybe it's time to get an old snack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised it's like you didn't hear my stomach this time around. Are you hungry? I'm so hungry. We have no food in the house. Okay, well, <laughs> I think this is a good spot to end this. We will be... I don't know what the next one will be about. Sorry, this one was like literally more of like a rant sesh about... I don't know, this one's like... But we were talking... We were going to talk about our trips and that's exactly what we did. True. And it's hard to remember some trips when you're... Four, six, <laughs> eight years old. True. It's very easy to remember well, the one that happened less than a year ago. You know what, you guys? We'll have to go back again and we'll we'll do it for you live. Yeah, we'll give you a step-by-step of everything that we're doing. Absolutely. 
But I hope you took something from this. Go to France. <laughs> Look at the Eiffel Tower. Go on a cruise. Drink champagne. That new cruise <laughs> smell. Enjoy family time. Go places with friends. Yeah. Experience the little things and the big things, honestly. YOLO. Literally. It makes sense. If you want to go to Vegas, yeah. go to Vegas. Tara was telling me today, she walks up to me and goes, Selena, <laughs> England flights, 600 bucks. Yeah, for six days. I was like, that's sick. You go for a week. Don't tempt me with a good time. It's a round trip. Six days, though. Like The flight itself is like seven and a half hours. Yeah, just go see the big sites. Big Ben, that's take a it. Day, take a day, and then boom, yeah. bam. Bob's your uncle. There you go. Quite literally. We have an Uncle Bob. Yes, we do. <laughs> so whenever you say Bob's your uncle, it's factual. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's facts. Fact or fiction. Anyway, we'll see what we're going to talk about next time. Hopefully we have a little bit of action in the Discord. Yes, I will link the Discord down below if you're interested in joining, giving us ideas as to what you want to hear us talk about or ask us questions about our past again and we can like maybe reminisce more with you all. Um... Yeah, I'll make sure to link it. If you want us to talk crap about any family members. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, she's not. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if it's in the Discord. We'll see. But thank you for joining us again. The day is still young. <laughs> the day what is I meant young. to say was the conversation's good, but the coffee's better. We didn't even see what we were having for coffee. I so drank it. I had a shot of espresso. I had the same thing as last time, so we'll see you in episode five. That was episode four. Crazy how far we've come. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.